Someone's been having some BCFing fun. After 25 years in journalism, it takes a lot for a photo to surprise me. But this one did. This monster shark was caught off the beach somewhere south of Perth. But the size of the catch isn't the bit that shocked me. It was the bloke who caught it. Didn't expect that. Quite the pair. A ferocious animal feared by humanity and a shark. <laughs> it's a photo that had put the fear of God into any beachgoer. What, Troy McCanty fishing on the beach? Yeah, he's got quite a good technique, actually. A serious bit of gear as well. Nice tats. For what it's worth, I've been told this photo was taken before the gang insignia laws came in. But that probably won't stop gang crime watching this show 19 times and pausing for every single frame. Go back one. What do you say? Bring his face up. Full screen. You may have a witness. He'll have to start wearing a disguise. <laughs> BCF's newest ambassador's got a lot to choose from. Zoolander. <laughs> Captain Caveman. <laughs> Godfather of Bling. Bob the Builder. Uh, yes, we can! I reckon the cops have got bigger things to worry about. Well, they should be investigating what is one of WA's most audacious thefts. West Coast's going to slug fans close to 60 bucks for the cheapest ticket at a home game. That compares with the $27 you'll pay at the MCG or Marvel Stadium. It's more than a family of four pays to go to one of those grounds in Melbourne. The Eagles say different membership structures means we aren't comparing apples with apples. And we aren't. We're comparing very expensive apples with apples. Frio charges 38 bucks to see this. The kick back inside. Brayshaw, the goal was there. Which is 20 bucks less than Eagle supporters fork out to see this. Dropping back, Dowling. Spilt the mark, Dowling. West Coast executives will no doubt point to the club's dire financial position after COVID wrecked a couple of seasons. Profit last year was just $3.5 million. The club's investment portfolio was just $55 million and net assets were just $108 million. Administration costs were, however, up 19% because Trevor Nisbet's money bath doesn't fill itself. Well, the AFL could soon be competing with Perth Glory for fans. Mark McGowan has just launched a jobs blitz in the UK. He's trying to convince 31,000 doctors, nurses and teachers in England, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland to leave the British drizzle. Oh, it's good Scottish weather, madam. We're in a small street down. He wants them to come live in the sun-drenched paradise that is Western Australia. Midland dog! McGowan wanted the British press to sit up and take notice, and they did. Or at least the Daily Star did. He got the front page, despite it being a very busy news day at the paper. A Stonehenge worker was claiming proof of UFOs. A giggling freak who had sex with a horse was banned from going near hoofed animals. Just ones with who's mind. And then there was the breaking news that page three girl Livy from Yorkshire had just completed renovating her caravan. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something. Even if you were too small to understand why. Senior Minister Paul Papalia was quoted in the relatively upmarket Daily Mail. He implored Britons to move down under because our wages are higher, our cost of living is lower, and our health system is world class. Paul ended with a zinger quote saying, Many of our ancestors were sent from the UK to Australia as convicts. Now it would be a crime not to make the move. Well, you reckon it will work? I hope so. Who doesn't like an English doctor? I can't keep apologising for your behaviour. Then don't. I didn't ask you to. Or a crime-solving Bobby. <laughs> and British nurses are always in hot demand. <laughs> but the poaching mission is worrying the UK authorities in charge of the industries we're looting. In all seriousness, the most decisive factor for someone considering moving from Blighty isn't the promise of better weather or healthcare. It's the currency rate. Much easier to convince someone to sell up and convert to Aussie dollars when one pound gets three bucks than when it gets $1.70 as it does now. We just got to hope that's outweighed by the lure of our beautiful beaches. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.